Brian here with you. Welcome into my office. We're sitting at my desk and I'm going to now present for you this group of three books on Native Americans as a single lot available for acquisition. We see here how they look for the spines and here are the front covers like so. We'll start with this one. This, all these books, uh, they are acceptable. They're in red and show signs of time and handling, uh, but uh, worthy of ownership. The first one here is 1870s. <clears throat> this next one here is uh, uh, like so. The end paper uh, at the front, the front end paper has uh, dried and uh, detached and the rear end paper is missing. The uh, joints, uh, actually the hinges here, are cracked. That's because the covers are quite heavy. However, internally the book is almost like new, well preserved, clean and tight. It's 1897, like so. A uh, scholarly uh, inquiry, so to speak, or a scholarly um, examination of Native American culture with illustrations throughout. Uh, yeah. And the final book is this one, which is in fairly rough shape. This book has been heavily read. It goes to show you the popularity of Native American Indian uh, books like this, especially Trumbull's Indian Wars. Like so, this book is, it's amazing actually, the, sign, uh, the signs of where. It ends at page 320, uh, which is, uh, I think you see here, someone has, uh, looks like they've cut out a le the rear a leaf or two. I don't know why but uh, they did. Uh, it's 1851 Philadelphia, like so, famous book. Uh, and this is how it survives. It opens to the title page. The book is damp stained. It's spotted. Uh, this, this book has been very heavily read. It has this uh, full page wood engraved uh, Indian uh, uh, portrait uh, with original hand color. Uh, and I'll just flip through the book so you can see. Here's another one right there. And here's one of Black Hawk, like so. And these uh, three books are offered as a group, uh, and they are available now online from me, Brian DeMambra.